What's up guys? Welcome to your bonus video for the week. Uh, I'm a little more giddy today than I normally am because I'm hanging out with Jason Muse here. As you may know, is Jay from Jay and Silent Bob movies and he also had a special appearance on King of the Nerds, which I've seen the show a few times. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, but today we're actually talking about your new movie that just came out on DVD recently, uh, Noobs. Yes. Now, that, um, now, can you tell us about the movie, what we can expect from the movie? And talk, uh, uh, actually, your character, on, your character on it. Well, my character is... Uh... I think the guy wants to have fun and is, is more willing to take chances. He's best friends uh, with Blake Freeman, who wrote it and directed it. Um, and in the, in the movie, you know, we want to go play this tournament where uh, Gears of War fanatics and, uh, you know, if they win, they get the prize money, but they also are hoping to get sponsorships and it can change their life because they all have jobs. Uh, the four guys all have jobs they don't like. You know, one's yeah. a shoe salesman. I'm a manager at, a, at a, like a GameStop. It's not a GameStop, but you know something like that. And he and so it's uh, it's fun. It's about us, you know, going to take this chance. Love story. I get to hang out uh, in the movie. My character is meeting for the first time. They've been playing online and talking mm -hmm. a lot over a microphone and stuff. Um, uh, Zelda Williams. Yes. which is cool. Uh, she was really awesome. So there's a little love story. You know, a little road trip spot in the movie and then the video games of course and the whole online thing where people talk trash online and you don't know what they look like and then you see them and you could be you know you might think you're playing a 25 year old but you're playing a 12 year old and yeah nothing better than like getting asked by a 12 year old yeah it's, all the time. it happens uh i actually loved the dialogue and the writing of the movie like it really depicted what it's like to be like a hardcore gamer and just like really kind of at the end of the day it's all right job's done let's jump on the mic play some video games and have fun with it What's interesting to me, the game, uh, the movie that I learned, even though I've been playing games for years and I consider myself a gamer, but um, I didn't realize how much people consider console gaming and there's PC gaming. Like, you know, people with that are uh, play with Xbox, PlayStation and stuff were, were into the movie and they dug the whole, you know, head for... Oh, yeah. They thought it, it, was, it seemed real, but when it, I didn't realize people were, were really bummed that it was all about the console gaming and not uh, PCs. You know? Yeah, well, you uh, have uh, definitely two different niche audiences when it comes to that, which is actually yeah. a, a giant debate with me and, uh, me and Sohinky here on the channel, because he's a big PC gamer and I'm all for the console, so yeah. it's there, it, it definitely exists. And I didn't realize it was a, as big as it is. I mean, I knew, there's, I played, uh, you know, one of my favorite games ever is from PC, Lord of the Rings, Battle for Middle Earth. Um, but uh, but I'm just saying I, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Like uh, it, it's interesting. So yeah. I'm just saying that alone is something that uh, I learned from. Kind of opened the world a little yeah, bit. Yeah, from the movies. So but it was fun, man. I gotta say, it was, besides, you know, I, I always feel like the the Jay and Bob. It's Kevin. You know, me, Kevin and I've been friends forever, and we work with the same people. So they'll always be my. Um, you know, favorite movies, but this is one of my favorite movies that didn't involve the Jay character and Kevin Smith yeah. and all that. Um, I had so much fun on it. I mean, we one day we got to sit and play Gears of War all day, and get and they just Doesn't filmed sound like it. A bad day. It's not a b bad day of work, uh, you know. So it was not bad at all. Now you played a lot of Gears of War in, in, in this movie. Uh, is are, do you normally play that like outside, um, or are you um, more Call of Duty bit. or any other games that you actually prefer to play? I play a little bit. I do like Gears of War and I play it, but I always I have all these games that I like to play, but I wind up playing them and then I always wind up going back to Call of Duty. I mm -hmm. don't know. Um, you know the other games I enjoy Lego DC Heroes Batman 2 the the oh those were the fun Legos, games Lord of the Rings yeah. Legos <clears throat> excuse me uh, never count the, out the Lego games those are a lot of fun uh, yeah they're 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 a blast to play and I am, I like playing them for a few hours and stuff but I always wind up being like all right I have to play a couple games of Call of Duty before I go I don't know that the uh, playing online against someone and the competing and the sort of you know getting see if I can bring up my kills. I think the most I've gotten now is like 33 or something is like my highest and which I know isn't that great. But uh, when it comes to Call of Duty, I'm lucky if I can get 15 kills in there. My yeah. kill death ratio is just, uh, I'm dying more. Yeah, I, I feel like every every once in a while, like I, I usually do about 18 or something, but I feel like every once in a while, I swear I just, I don't know if there's like five guys that just are brand new playing. Cause there's just, every once in a while I'll play a game where I'll just be like, getting 10 kills in a row and I'll dot move in and I'm like, wow, I'm doing, it's like, I'm, I'm so better. amazing at this. Yeah, and then the, the next, next round, game. yep. 
So I don't know what that is, but but I love it. I love playing. So now uh, this looked like a fun like buddy movie to film. Uh, like how much fun? Do you have any cool stories from from doing it? Not any that stands out specific. I mean, I had a lot of fun, especially Blake and I. Again, um, you know, Blake wrote the script, and the cool thing was when him and I got together and we had our scenes. Um, we would just, he would be like, you know what, just go off, you, you know, get the point across that I wrote, but you can ad-lib as much as you want, and seriously, him and I would go on, like, ad-libbing tangents for, like, you know, five minutes where, you know, if it was like, hey, I have to get across that, we gotta stop for gas, and then we're getting to this tournament, man, we, we can't be late, so we would, that would be, you know, the line, and I'd be like, all right, we gotta be there, and him and I would just go on and on and on, and, and, right and because he was the director, he would be for, uh, all, all for it, and so I don't know, that was fun to me, because like a lot oh, of, of the course. stuff we, the, a lot of the stuff that made the movie was really just him and I all ad-libbing right there on the spot, you know, we get the point across that we had to get, and a lot of it was just ad-libbing, so it, there was a lot of that, and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, I think one of my favorite uh, favorite lines is very simple. Like when uh, you convinced your friend to actually do the tournament with you, and then you guys are having lunch. You're like, bro, bro, it's happening. It's going on, bro. Like you say, bro, like ten yeah. times. It's a <laughs> yeah. lot of fun. Now you're all over the place these days. Uh, do you have any other projects that you're coming up? Or I know that there's your guys' new YouTube channel. Yeah, we have our YouTube channel, which is YouTube.com/csmod. Uh, S-E-E-S-M-O-D. Um, and that's uh, our YouTube channel, but also we have our live podcast we're doing. We have a show, uh, Kevin and I just started doing, we were doing it at John Lovitz, and we still probably will go up there, but right now we, we moved over to Laugh Factory, and we did a show a couple weeks ago, and we're doing one, I think, uh, in like two weeks, which I'm excited about. I, mean, I get to do, uh, you know, I'm not doing stand-up, but I'm getting to do a show at Laugh Factory, which That's awesome. to me, moving here, you know, I used to drive by and you watch shows, and Laugh Factory is like a classic place. Um, so we're doing our Jay and Saul Bob Get Old podcast still, and in April, we're hopefully, if all things go as planned, we're doing a Jay and Saul Bob's groovy cartoon movie, which is a, a like 65-minute oh, feature can't wait for that. cartoon Jay and Bob movie. That's awesome. And we're going to tour with it. Um, so, and there's a few other, uh, you know, projects like a day here, there, meetings and stuff, trying to get some TV and movie Same things video. going. So, yeah, but mainly right now we're focused on the, the Get Old podcast, the, the uh, YouTube channel, and, the, and um, the cartoon. Oh, and Access TV. I've been hosting uh, Access Live. It's Mark Cuban's network. It yeah. used to be HGNet. Yeah. It's Access TV now, and it's called Access Live. It's an hour show live, um, and it's all music and pop culture, and I've been hosting that uh, that's awesome. like twice a week, so it's been cool. Cool, yeah, so we'll have annotations here to the YouTube channel. We'll have links down below for you guys to find it as well, so go check out our stuff. Go subscribe. Uh, Dude, thanks so much for coming in, man. This Thank you. So Thank awesome. You. Uh, go check out Noobs. It's on DVD right now. You can also find it uh, video on demand. So go look for it. Go watch it. I loved it. You're going to love it too. And uh, you know what? Maybe it's a special treat. We'll keep Jason around. Maybe uh, Tuesday's Backseat Gaming will have a special guest. Let's find out. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. We love you. Cool. We love your penis.